the most uh, difficult challenge for anyone working in Gaza is the security issue. Security issue and uh, dealing with uh, continuous change of the situation, day and night. Because under siege, you cannot plan properly 100%. Your plan could be changing every day. Your reports could be delayed because there's no electricity, there's no internet. Even the money transferred there could be extremely difficult, quite often, not sometimes, quite often. This is one on the humanitarian side, but on the political side, you could be classified as extremist, radical, or even terrorist in this area. Because sometimes when you make a statement which is at the borderline, people can magnify it for yourself. So be extremely careful, extremely careful of what you put on your Facebook and on your Twitter and your social media. The third or the fourth uh, challenge is finding the qualified human resources, whether they are from countries like South Africa or to train the young people inside Gaza and Palestine. This is extremely important. We can do it through Zoom, actually, to keep training the young people on the humanitarian principles, on how to can connect together, to work together, and to build the community. So this is the third challenge you can uh, find there in Gaza. Number four is, as sister before you, talk about this despair, because every now and then you keep pouring money in the, in the strip of Gaza, but there's no uh, fruitful result. Because sometimes there's some trees compare the fruits after 50 years or 100 years, and some trees compare the fruit in six months or one year or two years. So don't rush or don't hurry up picking up the fruit of your great work. Patience, perseverance, commitment, dedication, and reliance on Allah, and Allah knows best and is more merciful than you and myself to his own people in Gaza and any part of the world. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank Dr. you, thank you, Dr. Annie. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Bilal. Quickly, we use Dr. Annie's last couple of minutes with us, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so my question for Dr. Hani would be what qualities make somebody a good humanitarian, and how can we as volunteers ensure that we're doing the right thing and at the best quality of things that we could do? Good humanitarian is good individual. Good humanitarian is good believer. And the belief here in different, has different aspects. Believing in Allah, believing in the community, believing in the issue that you are standing for. Good humanitarian has to be patience. Good uh, patient. Good humanitarian has to show this kind of altruism and being humble and show humility and be with people when they need him to be with them. Stand next to them when they are in need. And never, never, never leave them alone. Good humanitarian is somebody who has a vision and a dream to bring happiness and joy for the people that he is standing for or she is standing for. Good humanitarian is not, it's not a textbook statement. It's not a bayan. It's not a khutbah. It is a mission, delivering the message of making you good humanitarian. Good humanitarian is the one who keeps uh, uh, planting seeds wherever he or she goes, to anybody, in any land, because he believes or she believes that the land will bear the fruits of their seeds, whether they see it or not. Good humanitarian does not wait to pick up the fruits of his plantation or her plantation. Anybody else can pick it up. Doesn't have to see the result, but let others to see the result of his or her action. This is a good humanitarian. He's not doing that because he wants the fame, the glamour, the show, 
but he's doing us out of love, care, share, and belief in the issue of those people. Good humanitarians like yourself, when he goes to bed, he has the issue at the back of his mind, in front of his mind, at every part of his body, like the Prophet Sallallahu you see, and his companions, you know, Hazrat Umar, anhu, he never slept on his back after becoming Khalifa, either on his side or sleep sitting, because he was not a politician, not a leader, but he was a good humanitarian. Because he cared about the elderly woman at the outskirts of Medina, and the woman, her husband, is leaving her and fighting in the battlefield, and the orphan who are crying for his mother or the weaning, the mother was, was, was trying to feed the young suckling baby to get the uh, allowances of the child, uh, what do you call it, uh, allowances from, from the state. And this is a good humanitarian. Good humanitarian is a spirit, it's a soul, it's a vision, it's a dream. And if something lives with you, forever. Forever with you to become good humanitarian. Jazakumullah ah, khair. Jazakumullah khair, Dr. Ani. Um, really, as always, you inspire us. Um, and uh, we thank you for your time. We'd really love to have you with us for, for longer. And inshallah, we look forward to having more sessions with you in the future. Um, and we hope to see you in South Africa, inshallah. The invitation is always open for you. Uh, you we'll inspired me. I was not inspired <laughs> today. <laughs> Be careful when Dr. people Ani. inspire me. Thank you so much. Thank you for your kind words, your advice, your your inspiration. We are we are all inspired by you. And uh, inshallah, we, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from all of us and to help us to continue uh, in this uh this legacy, to continue this legacy, to fulfill the vision, uh, as you had said, the vision uh, not only of Dr. Hani, but of our pious predecessors, of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to be a mercy to mankind, to be of a mercy to mankind, inshallah. That is our, our job. Uh, so, Jazakallah khair, Dr. Hani. Um, I see there are other hands up, but if we're going to keep you, we really appreciate the time. Well, I can take another one if the time allows, because I don't want to upset you. Okay. Okay. Jazakallah khair. We've got uh, Brother Ammar, uh, who has his hand up. Uh, Brother Ammar, is there on your question for Dr. Ani? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wanted to know the current situation of COVID in Gaza. How is it affecting the people? Oh, this, is, this is for Munib. <laughs> okay, that's for, that's, that's for Munib. Jazakallah. Okay. Dr. Ani, shukran so much. Uh, we hope to see you again, inshallah. We'll invite you for our next volunteer um, uh, get together on Zoom, inshallah. Ta'ala. Uh, and jazakallah khair again, once again, for your time. Allah. Shukran. Allah. 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 Allah.